Welcome to another Brian's action figure reviews and I'm going to get the boring stuff out of the way first before I kick off this review of Omega Red I would just like if you would subscribe to my page my YouTube channel Brian's action figures follow me on Instagram I'll leave the link below and make sure you check out if you're on Facebook Marvel Legends Community UK and Daily Dark action figure collectors UK also so on with the review of all the plugs and shit done nice and easy also while you're here check out comic comics and cocktails that code at uk and kapow ties that code at uk now have all the plugs done and there of course for all your action figure needs we can get this guy and much more <coughs> and i'm not being paid for this don't worry <laughs> so today i'm gonna be reviewing omega red who won the poll on Marvel Legends Community UK and set, I made the stupid mistake of making the poll editable so anyone could uh, add options to the poll and <laughs> six people voted for me to give Jordan Griffin the build a figure parts from Omega Red and Bishop unfortunately Jordan I'm sorry but I don't have the build a figure parts from these guys anymore I sold them as I'm not building Sauron, unfortunately. Sorry. But for the six guys who voted for that, fuck you guys. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, there was 13 votes for Omega Red, four for Bishop, and there was one single solitary vote for Reuben something or other. But anyway, I think that was Ian Nesbitt. Thanks, Ian. And we're going to get on with this review today, and I'm going to start off, as I always do with um, the box... That Omega Red came in. Whether you want to see it or not, I don't care. <laughs> but I'm going to show you it. So, X-Men, obviously. <coughs> Marvel's Omega Red. Hasbro. Up at the top. You've got the Fed of the X thing. I don't know what that's about even. Can it, someone tell me why this feels different to the rest of the box? I don't know. But anyway. On the side, you've got that uh, pretty wicked art on both sides of the box as you know by now from looking at my marvel reviews and stuff on the back we've got a nice picture of omega here marvel's omega red <clears throat> forgive my russian accent as i try and do this so the bio it says a former russian crime lord and agent arkady rosovich is used in the weapon x project Combining mutant abilities with weaponized cybernetic appendages. Very, pretty cool to read all that bit in foreign language as well. Isn't it? But uh, yeah, so you got all that. <coughs> uh, rest of the wave, of course, you can build Sauron. You've got Omega Red. You've got what I think is X Men Deadpool. You've got No Pants Deadpool. Wolverine X23, Lady Deadpool. And Bishop, who I've also got, and I will be reviewing him later next week, maybe, seeing as he lost the poll this week. And on the bottom, you've got barcode, made in China, all that bullshit that doesn't really matter to us extra bigger collectors. So, that's the box dealt with. Let's move on to Omega Red. Now, one thing I noticed watching back my own reviews last week is I didn't... I didn't take too much time with the to mention the paint apps and stuff like that. So forgive me a second while I fix my lighting. Here we go. I don't know if that made any difference, but yeah, there we go. So must be a bit even or no. So on the paint apps on Omega Red, as you can see, it's a nice um red <laughs> all around on the legs and uh on the back there you can see it's nice and uh the white as well, it works really well. The one thing I hate is on these figures is the the like serial numbers and things around the back of the thigh. Surely under the feet would be the best place for them. I think all around like the hair, the blonde hair is really cool. It's painted really well, even what if you can see the eyebrows there, it looks really cool. Um, under the foot, under the hair, just lift that feet there. You can see the cybernetic parts. It's really class the way they've sculpted it and the omega sign on his on his headband as well um you see as well here in the grenades and, and his harness and stuff 
he's just overall I think I mean, if you look at hands there as well he's really painted well and I haven't seen really um much paint rub or anything like that on this figure you can see on his arms there's nicely sculpted veins for his biceps and stuff as well um paint wise is there anything I'd change not really maybe the shoulder pads could be darker but uh, other than that he seems to be fairly on point so with that I'm going to go quickly now onto the articulation the ankles are on a rocker so they can go pretty much wherever you want them to go the knees now look at these these are quite big knee pads so the double double knees knee joints still work pretty well with, with those uh gigantic knee pads tie swivel i never like doing these i guess i break the, the leg i don't know why it waist waist swivel it goes all the way around you've got the ab crunch is it is a little bit well no not, not much but it's a little bit um hindered by the the harness which has just opened on me put your put your pants back on omega but uh yeah i'll leave that in a while so <clears throat> wrist articulation it goes out it goes around in circles it doesn't go in and out too much because of the tentacles and stuff i'm sure if you take them off like i'm gonna be taking these off anyway so i'm just whip that off a second yeah still there isn't much play in the wrists and mine um double jointed elbows you have to really work them to move them i think mine is just very stiff um bicep swivels oh yeah i forgot to get look the legs go out this far back that far sorry i'm a bit, a bit distracted <laughs> it's that uh that thing at the back is wrecking my head that's why yeah you see the, if you can see there these actually come out of just a little hole for those to plug in and if you don't get it right it can be a right pain in the arse but uh it's in there now and it's perfect again so back to the review as you've seen the arms the biceps levels, the arms don't go up too much because they are hindered by that um that shoulder thing but they do go out this much at this side they go up this much go back that much and it is pretty hard plastic so it, it does it does hinder a little bit uh the head looks down looks up a little bit so articulation wise it's tough for him to look side to side so you're better off using the the waist articulation to get that side to side motion because it's it's the harness it's the harness makes everything a bit tougher now i like he does need it because if you look at him right look at him like that he looks majestic of sorts so if you were to take that off it would take a lot of the, the look off the figure so as I, as you saw i took off one of the the whips you get two smaller ones depending on the mood you're in or the mood she's in but then you get these two guys as well mm -hmm. they go in not like that <laughs> is it in yet no it's not that's what she said 10 unsubscribe <laughs> 10 people in unsubscribe because you're a bad joke but as you can see i'm having a bit of trouble getting that in and there we go so they go into both sides and they're pretty cool like they're like the doc ock tentacles though in that they don't hold a shape they just hold out like that so and he's taking a dive i think it would have been cool if we got those like wire tentacles where you can actually hold them in a, a position also i think the wrist the fist here could they could have done with another open hand in the, in the packaging but this is a figure i've looked forward to for a while um i'm not a big fan of the thai biz version of it i, I think it's fucking terrible compared to this for me this is a must have figure if you're a fan of the character but he is kind of obscure enough that you could skip him as well if you don't like him but he looks great and it's never bad having more x-men villains and 
for me, he's a solid like maybe eight point five out of ten. Uh, maybe these being soft, and more movable could have been um, could have been a better thing. So, that's Omega Red, your ML. C U K, that's right. M L C U K's voters' choice for this weekend. I will have another review up on Sunday as well. I'm not revealing who that is, so stay tuned. It's another X Men related character. And if you look on the page now, there should be links to subscribe to my page and links to other reviews. So go ahead, check them out. This has been Omega Red, and this is Brian out.